Hey, what's going on everybody? Brendan Miller here, back with another video, and do you get weird ideas? Because I do. Like the other day, I had a really weird idea. I thought to myself, what's the cheapest lure I can buy from Walmart, and is it any good? Well, I went to Walmart, stumbled around there for a little bit, and I found some cheap lures, namely five cheap lures, and today we're going to take a look at them and see if they are worth the money. Now the basic criteria I'll be judging these baits on is number one, the build quality, number two, the value for money, and number three, how do these baits perform when you get them in the water. With that being said, let's take a look at what I bought. And starting off with the cheapest fishing lure that I could find at Walmart, this bait right here, the Johnson Beetle Spin. This bait only costs you 82 cents at Walmart. Not a bad deal. Now I've never really used a whole lot of Beetle Spins in my life. I can remember back in my earlier days of fishing, I did play around with them a little bit, but I never got really into them, I never really used them, so I'm curious to see how this bait performs in the water. With that being said, let's pop it out of the package and see what it looks like, see what the build quality is like, and is it worth 82 cents? Alright, so for 82 cents we get a couple of things in the package. Number one, we get the blade with the little wire clip right here that clips into the jig head. We also get two tiny bodies like this. And we get another small jig head with a small plastic body already inserted on the hook. So overall first impressions of this 82 cents bait, I'd say for 82 cents you're getting a decent little package. I mean if anything you can just use the jig head and the little th thing on there and uh, you can catch fish with that or if you want to you can add on the little spinning blade. Now the second cheapest bait I bought at Walmart is this bait right here. This is a pack of worms by Cream, and they're made to go on the back of their worm spinner rig. I didn't get that because it's not the cheapest thing, and the goal of this video is for the cheapest thing at Walmart. This will only run you 96 cents, and for that price alone, this seems like a pretty good deal. Let's pop the, this package open and see what these worms look like. Now I remember as a kid, I was really a big fan of these worms because I thought they looked really realistic and actually looked like a real worm. And they do. I love the color gradient on these things. Now I gotta say, these baits feel and look really, really cool. I love the actual realistic design. As you can see, the color gradient right here kind of mimics a real night crawler, which I think is really, really cool. Not necessarily gonna help you catch more fish, but this is pretty good marketing if you ask me because we all know that night crawlers are very good baits in their own right. But the overall construction of this bait actually feels really good. The plastic feels nice and floppy without being too cheap. It is a little stiffer than I've seen, but it's not too bad. I could definitely see myself throwing this bait on a drop shot or even a wacky worm. I have high hopes for this bait, honestly. I think it's going to perform pretty well once we put it in the water, but again, that remains to be seen. There's not a whole lot to say here. You get four of them, and for 96 cents, for a four pack, that's pretty decent. If you look at most baits today, you're gonna pay upwards of four dollars for a five or six pack. So for 96 cents, uh, these worms seem pretty decent. What was what's 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 going on? I really need to put a door on the studio because people keep walking in and out. The next bed I bought is also for 96 cents and it is again by Cream Lures. This is the True Lure. It's spelled really weird, but anyway, here it is. And it's this weird little frog and a little hook. Like literally, that's all you get for 96 cents. You get a tiny little plastic frog that looks really cheaply built and a tiny little hook. Now honestly guys, I am not too cracked about this. This seems like some really dumb marketing. I don't, I don't get it. I mean, if you read it on the back, it says, the key is to vary your retrieve, speed up and slow down. Remember, you want your lure to act scared. After all, a predator fish is looking for a quick meal. Honestly, guys, I don't know what to say about this. It looks kind of like a ripoff, but we'll check it out and see if there's maybe some secret value hidden here. All right, so here we got this little frog and a little hook. That's it. Honestly, guys, the frog plastic feels pretty cheap and stiff. I highly doubt this will have very good action. I mean, it may have a little bit. It's got a little bit of action, but it's just got a random hook that I'm supposed to just thread on there, I guess. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I honestly don't get this. Like, I don't know what this is supposed to do. It's basically just a hook through some soft plastic. I mean, if you're gonna buy this, go buy some night crawlers and put a hook through some night crawlers. You'll catch way more fish uh, than with this. I don't know why anybody would spend 96 cents on this. It's pretty weird and I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but again, that remains to be seen. Once we get it in the water, this thing could have some incredible action. I mean, it could actually swim like a little frog and that would blow my mind. But uh, we'll have to see once, once we put this in the water. The fourth bait I bought is this little crankbait right here and this is the cheapest crankbait you can buy at Walmart. 
uh, unless you find something really crazy in a bargain bin. Retail, this thing goes for a dollar and fifty-six cents. So honestly, it's not that expensive when it comes to hard baits. You know you can drop upwards of like sixteen dollars per hard bait if you want to get high end stuff. As you guys can see, it's a tiny little crankbait with a tiny little treble hook on it. The treble hook's actually surprisingly sharp, which is awesome. The lip actually looks pretty decent. It does have a little bit of flex to it, so. Not sure how that's going to hold up. With a bait this light though, I'm honestly not worried about breaking the lip. The paint job is interesting. We have a blue top, kind of a green and yellow and red finish on it. Interesting, kind of got this holographic kind of finish. It's like, you know, crazy stuff. So as you can see, this is a very simple little crankbait. And I'm curious to see how this thing's going to run. It's even got a little rattle in there. The biggest concern I have with a bait like this is, is it going to run straight? I've tried a lot of small crankbaits and most of the time they do not run straight. But maybe this bait will. Maybe this bait will surprise me. And if it does, I can definitely see myself throwing this little bait. It's actually kind of cute, so. And the last bait I bought is the Spoiler Shad by Cream Lures. This bait will run you a dollar and twenty-two cents at Walmart. I must say though, like, Cream has a very good handle on the low-end fishing lure market. Like, four out of five of the baits that I bought were all cream baits, so. Cream, good for you, I guess. So here's the bait right here. It is a translucent minnow type bait with a built-in jig head. And overall, the plastic feels, eh, it feels okay. I've definitely felt worse. I'm just curious to see if that tail is actually going to kick because a lot of times when you buy small baits like this, if they're not engineered properly, the tails don't wiggle at all if the plastic's too stiff. But overall, you know, this bait seems okay, I guess. Uh, I'm not wild about translucent baits. I think baits with more color actually work better, but in clear water, these actually might be somewhat effective. Again, like I said, we'll have to test all these baits out and see how they perform in the water. With that being said, let's go do that right now. Well, everybody, I am back from testing these baits, and I have come to a conclusion about these cheap baits you can buy at Walmart, so let's jump right into it. First, starting off with this worm right here. Now, I was actually really impressed with the action of this worm. Like I predicted, it had a very nice action in the water. I put it on a jig head and fished it like a shaky head. It had a great fluid up and down motion, definitely usable. I also rigged it wacky style, and it had a great limber action as well. This bait, for the price that it retails at Walmart, is definitely worth your money. Um, I highly recommend picking some of these guys up if you want a cheap plastic worm that can do pretty much anything. These baits seem to be pretty awesome for the price. Now let's talk about this bait right here, this little clear swim bait. As I predicted, the action is quite stiff. The tail does move back and forth a little bit, but again guys, the action is not very good. This tail does not put off a ton of vibration. It just kind of limply flops back there and doesn't put off the thump and the vibration that I'd prefer from a small swim bait like this. And another problem I ran into while fishing these is that they tend to run on their side. And even vertical jigging this bait, uh, the tail action just gets worse. It just gets really, really stiff. This bait, honestly, I didn't have high expectations going into the testing phase of this video because just by feeling it and getting it out of the package, I suspected that this bait was not going to have good action. And I was right. The action of this bait uh, is not the best and it's definitely not worth your money. You can buy way better little swim baits like this. Granted, they may be a little more expensive, but they're gonna have three times the amount of action that this bait does. Now, let's talk a little bit about this tiny little crankbait. Um, I really wanted this bait to perform well, and it actually did perform decently. Uh, when, you, when I put it in the water, it actually did have a nice erratic action. It has a little rattle in there, so it sounds really cool. The action of this bait is actually really, really good. It's got a nice tight wobble, and it looks very, very enticing, especially in this small size. But the thing I found with it is the inconsistencies in the retrieve. So sometimes you're retrieving it and it swims perfectly straight and then other times it'll just start rolling. Uh, especially if you try to reel it really fast, it tends to pinwheel and come to the surface. And even during some slow retrieves, I found that the bait did the same thing. And honestly guys, I expected this kind of inconsistent action out of a bait this cheap. Uh, if you want to get this bait to work properly, you probably have to do some tuning. And even then, I can't guarantee that this bait's going to swim straight. Now let's talk about the beetle spin. This bait is by far the cheapest bait of the bunch and I was actually really impressed with the action. If you just use the jig head and the white little trailer, it has a decent action. It's nothing crazy, but I guarantee I could be able to catch bluegill and crappie with this given the right circumstances. And when you attach the blade assembly, it actually has a really cool action in the water. I was actually really impressed with this. I might have to start using beetle spins more 
uh, when I fish creeks and ponds and stuff like that. So overall, this bait is actually really decent. The build quality is good. The plastic on the little trailers seems to be really, really nice and soft. And everything just comes together really well. Now let's talk about the most disappointing bait of the bunch. This bait right here. I think a lot of you guys guessed it. This little frog with a hook. I don't know who in their right mind would buy this. The action of this bait is complete garbage. The thing that's annoying about this bait is that it tends to float and it's really hard to get it to go under the water. And I get kind of what they were going for. If you get a bait that kind of floats and then if you jerk it and it dives under the water and comes back up, that kind of imitates a frog. Frog, right? Well, the problem with this bait is that it doesn't like to dive. It's very hard to get it to get under the water. Most of the time it flounders on the surface. When you do get it to go under the water, you have to give it a really hard jerk and the bait has no action. It just flies to the water. If those little legs kicked out like that, that would be really awesome. But this bait has a stiff action. It's really light. It's hard to cast. And I have a feeling this bait is not going to be very effective when it comes to catching fish. Don't buy this bait. Just go dig some night crawlers for free and you're going to catch more fish than you would using this bait. So guys, there you go. Those are the top five cheapest baits you can buy from Walmart. And which one was the best? Well, I'll have to say it's a tie between the beetle spin and the plastic worm. The plastic worm for what you buy is actually pretty decent. You get a four pack and the action of this bait is actually not too bad. You can wacky rig it, you can put it on a drop shot, you can put it on a jig head, and you're going to catch some fish with it. Granted, it's not the best worm I've ever used, but for the money, I'd say it's pretty impressive. And I actually really dig the color scheme on this thing. The realistic colors I actually really like and it'd be cool to see some more worm companies incorporate that design into their baits. Also, the beetle spin probably has to be my favorite bait that I picked out, and it's also the cheapest bait, which is pretty crazy. Uh, the reason I love this bait so much is that it has a lot of functionality and practicality. When you're fishing small streams, small ponds, you want to catch panfish, this bait is actually really versatile. You can just take the jig head in the trailer and fish it as a standard jigging rig. So overall, this bait is actually really, really handy. I might have to actually add it to my tackle box and take it fishing. So guys, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. If you did and you want to support the channel, be sure to check out my line of t-shirts right here. That helps me keep making videos. Also, guys, you can check out my last video right here that we review five weird lures and you guys can subscribe by clicking right there. Be sure to stay tuned. I'm going to get out and actually do some real fishing here in a little bit as soon as the weather warms up. Thank you for watching this video and as always, stay hooked. I'll see you later.